the chestnut is the best to clean immediately and put inside of the fridge immediately because the same neighbor that claimed that I fuck him and his son claimed that I was trying to make his father insane his Tina Yerman claimed this uh, and his cousin revenge the police officer took the revenge in the name of this old man who passed away against me uh, for driving him insane in a parenthesis half on not on one opportunity but on, th on three opportunities with another neighbor here Donna Collins uh, fuck me to the degree that I no longer would go and pick up the chestnut. Uh, I was wrong about when I stated that I was 14 years old when I was picking up the chestnut the last time. That's wrong. Before I left the United States of America, I went on to pick up the chestnut. That was age, I don't know. Uh, maybe 21 or something like this. Uh, and guess what happened? I pick up the chestnut and I brought one home. The thing is that the chestnut would... I had a neighbor who passed away. Martin Yerman was his name. Martin Yerman. And he claimed that if the chestnut, again together with the mother, if the chestnut is not immediately uh, cleaned up and stored up, the only thing that happened, it turned into totally shitty chestnut, full of worms and so on. And I couldn't fucking get why the fuck that would be. I mean, we used to have a chestnut stored for quite some time, and you would go and you would eat one. The shit completely okay. 14 days, you just put one on a cold place, and it was all good. But guess what? My chestnut, it was like he stated, overnight, within day two, my chestnut turned into everything shitty, worms, moldy, and so on. And I couldn't understand. Really, I couldn't understand. I was placing one right out here on the balcony, uh, just exactly like you see it here. Exactly like you see it here. And I couldn't understand what the fuck went on with this stuff. Well, when they had me drugged up, they were uh, laughing in my face. And they told me what way goes rotten your chestnut is because we switch with your chestnut. We give you the rotten chestnut. We give you the chestnut that is full of worms, moldy, and stuff like this. So whatever they were picking up and was shitty, they would use this to literally when I would gather the chestnut, bring one home. That's why I'm going to take this inside. That's why I'm doing this shit today. I'm going to clean everything and put inside of the fridge because of the neighbors like this. Uh, they uh, tortured to the, such a degree that I no longer would go to pick up the chestnut. They would be laughing to me when they would have me drugged up under MK Ultra, saying, hey man, don't worry about it. We just fuck around with you. It's okay, your chestnut is good. Go get the chestnut, go get the chestnut. We are the one, we switch the chestnut with uh, the one with the worms, with the shit. These are the neighbors, this is the fucking neighbors that I had. So guess what happened? I stopped picking the chestnut. It was three times I went, it ended up like this, and then I wouldn't want to go anymore to pick up the chestnut. It was time to go to United States. This is completely, completely fucked up neighbors. People here from the village are fucking rotten, that uh, evil, like you wouldn't believe, the motherfuckers. They remembered and they did the setups and remembered whatever was convenient for them so they could run the crime against me. That was about it. That's the story about this fucking chestnut. That's why I'm not going to leave one on a balcony. I'll get one, fix one right now and store one inside of the fridge. My mother 
does not want to go to pick up the chestnut anymore in the forest, there is a good, good reason <coughs> why she doesn't want to go pick up the chestnut in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the forest anymore. The reason is very, very clear. I just stated the reason. The home chestnut is giant, like this. <laughs> like I'm about to demonstrate you. It's big. One chestnut is big as four of this. And nobody has it. That's the homegrown chestnut. Uh, I don't know if I can find one. Uh, <laughs> I'll go and I demonstrate you. This here, this is a homegrown chestnut. This is a homegrown chestnut. I'm going to give you for a comparison. I'm going to take, let's say, this and we're going to compare so that you get the idea. She told my neighbor, Donna Collins, she said to him in front of MK Ultra, now I understand her, she was right. She said, I don't want that shit from the forest. <laughs> and I was the one who was insulted because I said, I want it. I want to eat one. She said, no, I don't want one. In reality, she was very, very much insulted what they did to me. So my mother was right. She was right on target. She knew exactly what she was talking about. Nobody has a chestnut like this because it's homegrown. But people do have a chestnut like that. So while they can steal and switch the chestnut with a smaller chestnut, with a regular sized chestnut, you know, they cannot go and switch the chestnut unless it's homegrown with this. So this is so disgusting, these neighbors, these people from this village, that eventually my mother and my father would never go anymore to pick up the chestnut. They did not fuck me only. They fuck my parents. Anything that my father purchased in the store was oftentimes destroyed, just like they did to me. The neighbors started to go in his uh, place inside and check and destroy things. Anything he was buying and intimidated him in the stores that he's throwing money away and stuff like this and so on. All kinds of shit like this went on with these people. It's fucking obnoxious as he gets. They don't want to remember about this. All they wanted to remember is whatever was convenient for them they remembered. But they didn't want to remember the stuff like this they did. <laughs>